Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new review. Today I'm gonna test out three different fragrances for the first time actually. This is uh, fragrances from the Jean Varvados line. This is actually the first time I tried any of the Jean Varvados fragrances. So this is gonna be really interesting for me. So the three fragrances we're gonna try out today is Jean Varvados Artisan Pure, Artisan Aqua and Artisan Blue. Uh, really popular summer fragrances, especially the Artisan Pure. So now I'm gonna give you my first impressions of these fragrances and tell you which one of these I prefer. Okay, so let's start with the Artisan Pure, I think, because that's most hyped up nowadays and uh, most popular. Alrighty. I smell it a bit here. Alrighty. Really, really interesting opening in this one. Actually, really, really special uh, sound. Uh, smells a little bit more expensive than it is. Actually, it's not that pricey. I think it goes for around 30 to 40 bucks for a big 100 milliliter. So this is really nice. It's really fresh and clean. Really summery type. A little bit of aquatic notes. Little sea salt, but also some green notes in this. I feel. But it, there's some weird twist to it just in the opening. This has a little bit more character than the typical summer fresh fragrances, in my opinion. So this was a really nice, pleasant surprise for me. I could totally wear this. There's, I don't know if there's some smoky aspect of it. I think I'm going to spray some on my skin as well, just because... And there's some... I don't know if it's smoke, it's not smoke, I think, but really interesting opening, really heavy. I don't know if it's just some heavy wood just in the opening that separates themselves to be a 100% linear blue type of fragrance. So this has a really interesting opening. But then now I feel when it dries down a little bit more, it becomes a little bit more cleaner and fresher actually, because it's a little bit more musky type of smelling the first spray, I think. Now it's a little bit more clean and fresh summer fragrance, but a little bit uh, unique twist to this. A little bit smoke or or musk, so some some kind of note. I don't, I haven't read the note description of this, so I don't know exactly what's in it. But we move on to the Artisan Aqua, I think. Well, I think I'm just gonna spray this on my skin to give it a more um, thorough thorough review. Okay, so this was the aqua. Well, let's skip this actually. So I spray the not there. You can spray it here. Okay. So right off the top, this is a more typical aquatic fragrance. Right off the top note, this smells a lot, a lot like old school, old school aftershave in my opinion. Uh, not that exciting, but I really like this as well, but it's not so intriguing. It doesn't have some special notes in there like the Artisan Pure have in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think, but this is more a little bit 80s type of smelling uh, summer fragrance. Really fresh, clean. I really smell, I think I've smelled this on my grandpa some, some sometimes because I don't know if it's a, exactly this fragrance, but exactly this notes is so so used in typical aftershave that um, classic older men used, I think, in the 80s, 90s. A uh, little bit of, um, I don't know, know if it's some Old Spice vibes in this Artisan Aqua. Doesn't seem to be that long lasting though. But really linear, fresh and clean, smells like a little bit of aftershave, smells like a 80s type of aftershave, fresh, clean, straight out of the shower type of fragrance. But I think this works well with, with the summer heat as well. But as I said, not as um, interesting as the Artisan Pure. Okay guys, so now we move into the Artisan Blue from John Varvados. And see if we can find a spot here on my... Okay, let's just spray it here. So this is artisan 
blue. Okay. This is more, a little bit more. It reminds me a little bit of the Artisan Aqua, but this, <laughs> this smells like a mixture between Nautica Blue, <laughs> weird enough, it's called, called Blue as well, Nautica Blue and an Old Spice, actually. I think that's a pretty solid comparison between Have some green notes in there, not not only blue notes. Very very grassy, grassy type of scent. But this is not nothing that um, blows my mind. Actually, this is just a okay fragrance. Smells like uh, something you have smelled before. Not not a revolutionary DNA. So I, if I'm gonna pick one of these. If you're just gonna buy one of these artisan fragrances, I would really suggest the artisan pure. Actually, I, I think I'm gonna spray once more uh, of this. Ah, this fucking cap. <laughs> okay, let's hit it. Yeah. Really interesting summer fragrance, I would say. But bear in uh, or keep in mind, guys, if you are new to fragrances and you want just some fresh, uh, clean aquatic fragrance, this is maybe gonna be a little bit weird and have a little bit period to takes a little bit time to appreciate this type of scent. But if you are used to fragrances and you smell these typical aquatic fragrances like the Artisan Blue and the Artisan Pure, in my opinion, I think this is a more more solid choice for you. So if I'm gonna choose one fragrance, I would definitely go with the Artisan Pure. Because there's something in this fragrance that the other two doesn't have. I don't know what notes it is, I don't know how they come across, but there's some little bit more complex type of feeling to this fragrance. It's a little bit more put together summer fragrance. It has a little bit more character in my opinion than the other artisan fragrances. Those two other, the blue and the aqua, I would say that these are more linear type of aquatic blue blue summer fragrances that you all most certainly have smelled before. Um, these type of DNAs in the Maybe Nautica fragrances, maybe the uh, Dracar Noir fragrances, maybe from the Davidoff or something like that. But this is something, something else. A little more refined. This was really nice. I would give this uh, Artisan Pure a 7 or 8, maybe 8 out of 10, because it's more put together fragrance for the summertime. A little bit more interesting than your typical summer blue fragrance. So this was my short review of this. Um, my choice is the Artisan Pure, if you have to choose one of these fragrances. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for subscribing. I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.